Okay, on to the second box. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the Eugene Tordo YouTube channel. This is a continuation of my blown automatic transmission, 700R4 out of my 90 Corvette. Uh, I will leave a link somewhere up above to information about my Corvette, a short review video. All my videos I try and make short and sweet. Um, if you're your first time here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, I ended up ordering a tra rebuild transmission kit from a company called ProBuilt out in California, ProBuilt uh, Automatic. I will provide a link up above to their website. I, I hope I provide one. Uh, and if not, it will be down in the description box somewhere around there. Or ask me in the comments if you don't see it, and I'll provide the link. And uh, this kit, to me, when I was a little wary of buying it, uh, it seemed like a lot more expensive than a lot of other kits out there, but it does come with a lot of stuff, and most important thing that it comes with is a gentleman by the name of Dana that owns and runs the company, as far as I know. He's located out there in California, where I hope it's nice and sunny, because if you, I don't know if you can see in this video, here in Pennsylvania, it is not nice and sunny. It is snowing and raining out. It's that time of year, though, so that's expected. But... I ordered a kit and torque converter from him. The uh, torque converter isn't actually made from him. It actually comes from a uh, another company, and uh, I guess he uh, calls them and has them set it up. He uh, asks you a bunch of questions about your driving style and uh, uh, information about your vehicle and uh, builds the kit accordingly. He also leaves a bunch of notes on the uh, different items, and uh, you can pretty much contact this guy any anywhere. Uh, any time, rather, on the uh, internet or uh, phone. He, uh, I've contacted him on a Sunday, uh, and that's what sold me on his kit, the fact that he got back to me right away on a Sunday. I didn't expect a, uh, a reply, an email reply, until next the following week. He also shipped the kit pretty good. He, you know, he prepped everything and put it together, and uh, I think I ordered it on a Monday or a Sunday, and he got it all prepped together and put together, and I'll go over that in the more detail here. Uh, and shipped it to my uh, my front door by uh, United States Postal Service with Priority Mail. He shipped it on a Thursday afternoon and it got here on a Saturday afternoon, which was really good. I didn't expect it till after Thanksgiving. Uh, but I'll go over the parts. This is, there's two boxes that I got, not including the torque converter, which still hasn't gotten here. Uh, but I don't need that right away. But this is the kit that I installed. Uh, you can go to their website and see all the items. I was going to read it off, but uh, it comes with a lot of upgraded parts, and it gives you options to order other things, like uh, you can you can order uh, Sonic's uh, Smart Shell. It comes with a uh, GM Heavy Duty Smart Shell, and then it gives you some other options. I'll provide a link again. Uh, I hope, or if not, if it ain't going to be up above, it'll be down below. Uh, but the only option I selected was this Transco separator plate. I decided to order a new one of them with the kit. Uh, because mine, where the check bowls are, look like they're beat. They didn't beat through, but uh, and from videos I watched, you can correct it. This is the first time I'm ever building an automatic transmission, so everyone bear with me when it comes to the nomenclature of parts and what I'm doing. And I'll try... I, and. Uh, give as much information uh, that I can and uh, I'm not going to go into a detailed video on the rebuild and the teardown uh, there's other videos if you haven't been following uh, there's so many good videos out there that can better than what I can do but uh, one of the things that does, kick, does come with we'll stick to that for now the unboxing comes with a DVD on rebuilding it it comes with a rebuild manual on CD put that aside uh, comes with the he GM heavy duty sun shell but these are notorious for is breaking uh, this breaks off or strips and that happens when someone is going forward and throws it in reverse that's usually what breaks that uh, I don't do that so I shouldn't really have to worry too much but still it's nice to have the heavy duty sun shell uh, another thing that's nice about uh, Dana at ProBuilt is he provides this shaft here. Let me see if I can get it out of the box. There we go. Uh, 
It comes with this attached to it. It comes in a plastic bag. He already pre-installs extra wide bushings in it in both ends. This is, comes out of the front of the transmission and uh, this locks onto the stator sh which is fixed inside the transmission. And then you have your shaft that comes out that actually drives everything that goes into the, the torque converter. This comes out of the pump. Comes with a little instruction. Use an air pack tool for the torque bolt removal. Use a inch pound torque wrench for a torque bolt reinstallation. 120 inch pound. And it comes with a hardened torque bit, which is good if you don't have one. I have them, but still, it's nice to always have another one. Comes with these one way sprags. These are like one way clutches. These are really important. Without them installed correctly, the trans will not go. It would be in a lot of trouble. Comes with all these clutches. Uh, this is the pump. I don't know if you can see good in this video, but uh, this is basically the pump assembly that goes into the room in the front pump housing. Uh, more clutches and plates. Uh, more clutches and plates. And if I remember correctly, some of these have notes on them. Yeah, see where he puts notes on stuff. I like that. It says align dots upward, so that's good to know. Uh, I'll be calling him uh, probably several times during the rebuild. Uh, or either calling him or emailing him. I'd rather email him. I don't like calling people and disturbing them. Especially don't want to disturb someone on a Sunday. Uh, I will email him. Then it's up to him. It comes with a uh, heavy duty band. Okay. Now on to the second box. I'm not going to have all the room on this table, so let me put everything back in the box and then we'll uh, go continue on to the second box. Here we go. Comes with a pan gasket. A new filter. Basic stuff that you're definitely going to need. This is the uh, SK700 Junior System Correction Kit. Correct sticking TV and clutch failure. So, there's a bunch of repackages this because there's a bunch of different stuff in here that wouldn't normally come with the kit. Uh, but this is stuff that he includes. This is the uh, case connector. I'm definitely going to need that. I have a new pigtail to go with that. That's another project. This is a new governor gear, so that's good to have. Uh, springs and stuff for the accumulators, I would guess, and pistons, and springs, and valves, and all that for the valve body. And this gear comes with this. It's pretty, uh, and some notes on it. I don't know if you can see that in here or not, but it says, uh, he writes some notes on there. Replace input shaft capsule with this dual feed capsule from 4 a better lockup, so I'm definitely going to be installing that. Put that aside. Okay, these are for the three, four uh, clutch springs. There's basically a bunch of springs in here, and uh, comes with instructions how to use them to improve uh, three, four clutch. These are bags full of all the seals, uh, and gaskets, and O-rings, and everything I'm going to need for the rebuild. And it comes with a upgraded uh, accumulator housing with a piston inside. This is supposed to be a bigger improvement. It comes with the uh, 3-4 accum Corvette servo. Uh, I actually don't see why I need the, three, the uh, Corvette servo because uh, if anyone's not familiar with the 700R4, the ones that come in the Corvette come from the factory of the Corvette servo. That's why it's referred to as a Corvette servo. Uh, it's supposed to apply a lot more pressure and uh, stronger shifts. Uh, comes with the Sonics kit for uh, that has to do with this housing here, I believe. Uh, anyone want to correct me on this? Go ahead, feel free. Go ahead. This is the first time I'm building an automatic, and it comes with a new bearing kit. These are basically Torrington style bearings. Definitely going to need them. Uh, let's see, a bunch of more seals, shaft seals, and bushings. Going to need those. Let's see, uh, more clutches. Yep, always need more clutches. I'm building an automatic transmission because there's a lot of them. And, let's see, oh, here's the bushings with the Teflon bushings in them. Let me see if I can get them out. There we go. Teflon bushings. Well, three of these are Teflon. That would be this black coating on these. I don't know if you can see that. That one and that one. And then that white one. And there's a bunch of these other bushings that I'll be replacing. And it actually has some notes on it. It's good to know. Top, I guess you have to align this groove here. I don't know if you can see it. That's kind of from what I've been watching. 
I'm not going to make a real detailed video on the assembly of this pants. There's some really good videos out there, uh, but I will try and do some of it. Uh, any problems I run into, I'll try and video for everybody's knowledge or it's just interesting watching this stuff. This is a gasket for the pump. Uh, this is the uh, instructions for installing the spring kit and installing the clutches and accumulators and a bunch of other stuff. And in here you got the gaskets for the uh, valve body and the new separator plate uh, from from what I heard, uh, this separator plate's a lot better, it's a lot heavier, and it's a stronger steel, so that it will hold up to the pounding of the little check ball valves. So it also has notes on here, you can see uh, notes, this is from when he talked to me, or, well he didn't talk to me, we emailed each other back and forth about information about my bill, it's 383 or 307 gears, he is going to be getting a 2200 stall torque converter, and he has some other notes on here, I'll be emailing him about that, or calling him. Uh, Hopefully everything goes real well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, did please subscribe. I'm, uh, right now, the one thing good about my channel is it's not monetized. That's bad for me, good for you, because there's no commercials. It is a commercial-free channel. So, the snow is, since I started this video, is uh, really picking up. I don't know if you can see that there. It probably doesn't show very good. Let's see if I open the window a little bit. Put some fresh air in here anyway. Woo! Yeah, it's coming down real good. I didn't expect this. I don't remember hearing about this in the news, but here it is. Uh, we're going to get a good snow, and it looks like. Probably first good snow of the year here in Pennsylvania. Uh, even though I can't drive my Corvette in the snow, it uh, doesn't matter because my trans is out. Uh, I actually like the snow. Uh, to a degree, I don't like driving in it, obviously. But they're, uh, I just like the change of the seasons. I like to, that's what I like living here in Pennsylvania. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Uh, maybe I'll make, go make an add-on video to this about what's going on with my engine wiring harness. I don't know yet. Uh, I hope everybody has a happy day and God bless. And uh, the transmission adventure continues. It should be uh, fun putting this together. Hopefully, I'll get some of it together this uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I don't want to. I'm not going to sit there and bother uh, Dana, even though he's. Uh, it seems like uh, gets back to you right away. I don't want to sit there and bother him on holiday weekend. Uh, it's rare when I get off from work, and I don't like bothering people when they're off. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. And like I said, God bless and uh, have a happy life.